Hello, welcome back. So I played a lot and I have a lot of things to cover in this episode. So I switched to high definition and high speed over here. Which means we'll have much better graphics, but we might experience a lot of FPS drops and some other things. Such an atmospheric game. Now, before we start doing the normal stuff, I just have to show you a couple of things. And then we'll do some base building and maybe we'll have enough time to go and... Uh, no, go and visit the supermarket for some grocery shopping. Related to the cars. Well, you can find a lot of cars and the biggest inventory is the pickup car. But that's a little farther away from us. We don't have one over here in the parking lot. So it, that one has the highest inventory. But that one is cooler, of course. And I did found I did find a lot of things exploring, so definitely go out and explore. Not all of the locations will be marked on the minimap. Or they'll be very different from what you expect. For example, this is a huge cabin in the wilderness. And it's locked. And you have to use a pick lock to open the door. You can also smash it, but there are a lot of noises coming from there. Also there will be a lot of strange zombies. So over here I found that giant zombie again. It's actually a plant zombie, believe it or not. It kind of looks like a walking tree. And of course there are more bears and more special zombies everywhere. Also because of the way the looting system is designed, you can kill a zombie and get amazing loot. loot. I mean look at this, I got a bow, a compound bow by killing a zombie. Most of them will have nodes. And most of them will also have something really, really interesting. You know what else I found? The vehicle repair kit. You need to have screwdrivers to repair the vehicle repair kit. And I guess you have to always have one with us if you go with the car. And also found an Uzi. 600 rounds per second. So since this is damage 60 by the way. The damage is 320 for this one. I'm not sure how the arrows influence the damage itself. I guess it's 20% more damage. And the other arrows, which are the wooden ones. And it's a little harder to see the arrows, to be honest. Wait, so that's only the wooden arrows? What are the... Yeah, sometimes you'll be completely blind when, while looking at this inventory because you need to sort it out yourself, otherwise you'll have no chance of uh, seeing whatever you want to see. We can also do like this, so 65% damage, as you can see you will do a lot less damage than 320. And as you can see, powders will kind of accumulate all, all over the place. Also found the first aid kit, which stops bleeding and restores health. 50 HP. I guess I should use it because we are so low in HP. Also using a mask just because it makes everything sound so so cool. I might, you know, not use it anymore, but I just like the cool factor of it, and breathe in, breathe out. Also, as you can see, I made a little door over here, but I need, I'm not sure how to cover this part of the wall. And I made a destroyer of items. It's called a garbage grinder, but you get the idea. So let's start building stuff, and then maybe we'll have enough time to go to the other places. Now, I try to skip some of the content per se but you cannot skip anything so we have to do the workbench and then we maybe we'll do some other things like the fences and stuff actually let me check something oh yeah they're not joking when they show that icon over there that means you can probably only place it in that area or that general direction Let's try again, and uh, you will see. Wooden wall. See? That's probably the only place you can put it, that's over here. 
the base building is not as as fun as you might think so you can fortify your base but it will be a hard time before you can go i don't know and co fully customize a base so let's just build the next best thing which is the simple workbench and we finally have one million let's see this is the only place they let me put a garbage grinder let's try that again because this is an important thing you can put it over there and you have to stand near the location you want to put it. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare to, you know, put it wherever you want. Okay, let's put it over here, near the garbage. And as you can see, I have a lot of tools. I have a lot of useful items and items that are not so useful. Copper ore. Iron ore. Super important. They will be super important later. 100 wood and nails we'll put the nails over there and also in the meantime let's make one of those water filters because probably people are wondering how do you drink the water well you have to make the filters but from what i can see the water filters only work for the big bottles filter drinking bottle hmm i guess i should have Charcoal, you can make the charcoal on your own, or you can, hey, back. You can make the charcoal easy with wood and fire torch as a tool. And that's actually a pretty good way to do it. So this, as for the stones, I have 41 rocks. The, the, the arrows are over here, okay. Also have a little pistol. I found a lot of interesting things, but again, I don't have enough time to tinker with them. We can also probably upgrade. Okay. Oh. They want the bottle to be empty. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? And then the cloth. Every time will pass very very fast if you're crafting things. So this has a capacity of 200 2000 milliliters. Let's craft an empty one and let's see if it has water. Yeah. So I guess all of them will start with water in them. So let's make a few of these so we have enough water so we don't have to worry about water. I don't think we should make too many of them because we'll have to boil the water at some point. But, you know, just enough so we don't have to worry about it. Sorry if that bothers you with the breathing, but I find it's kind of, kind of relaxing. We also have the stone hammer. Workbench. Now you need a workbench because you cannot make the more advanced stuff without it. I also found a big gunpowder bag, I think. Gunpowder. Better arrows. And we're going into the melee weapons now. Also the components. Look at how expensive this is. This is incredible. 20 nerves is kind of expensive in the beginning. Let's make the arrow machete. Machete. Or the combustion or the electrify. It should be very fun to watch. And finally we can access the iron pickaxe, which is exactly what we need. Iron pickaxe and iron axe. But you need the iron plate and the iron tube for those. And also have the grapple. To move quickly. A lot of things that are very interesting. Metal spikes, incan bombs, explosive bombs, explosive arrows. The tin cans. Anyway. A lot of cool things. You can also make the wooden hand crossbow. So I think the game will get a lot harder as we play and probably will have a lot of scenarios where you'll start with nothing at all. Salpeter and charcoal. Eh, you have to do a lot of farming. It is going to be a long, long thing before we access some of the things we see here. It's going to be a very long time. Scrap metal. So it's pretty easy to get a scrap metal and you get five iron arrowheads. Well, I guess the first thing we need to craft 
Well, I'm not sure we'll need them, but since they're so easy to craft, we'll craft them. The scrap metal you can just get by hitting trash cans and other stuff in near you. Not very hard to make. Also, be careful because the scrap metal is weighs a lot, and if you reach 50, you'll be a little bit overweight. We should probably also make a suppressor from the... The tin can suppressor will be better. But then again, that's not why we are here today. So this, they, you, they come in stacks of 10, so I guess we can make 30 of them or something like that. Again, be careful because this will take a lot of time. And time flies when you're playing this game. I also made a lot of normal arrows, which I used to kill a lot of zombies, but, eh, you know. I lost most of them. How does this work? Oh yeah, so you'll only get one. So I'm not sure how you can make uh, 10 of these. Probably cannot make 10 of these because it's such a long process. Look at this. We should probably make arrows during the night. Well, it's already very, very close to night time. Let's cancel the last two. Actually, if you auto sort it, would put would put the arrows at the same. Yeah, eh, more or less, it's okay. Now, if you sleep too much, you'll have a lot of problems waking up, and yeah, you'll we will basically waste all of your resources just by sleeping and getting up. Now, we need the iron hammer, the wood, and the nails for this one, and it will be four hours or stuff, something like that. The iron hammer. How do you make the iron hammer? Iron plate. How do you make the iron plates? Well, I think this is a this is going to be a problem because the iron plates are not here. The iron plates should be at the lathe, the lath, the, the lathe, the simple lathe, which you need. Metal components. I'm not sure what metal components mean. Let's see what they mean. Grindstone. Yeah, I guess it's probably going to be useful, more or less. Hungry. Hmm, we don't have any metal components over here, and for that we need iron plates. I might be missing something in all of this tech tree, but again, I'll figure it out and I'll let you know. I'm not recovery. First. Slightly overweight. I wish to give you more hints on how to do it. You can also make the lock picks with iron wires and leatherman, which is again kind of useful. You can also make a improvised flashlight with the radiant fruit, so don't eat those fruits. And the vehicle repair is wrench, screwdriver, and tool hammer. So don't waste your tool hammer on stupid stuff. So wrenches and screwdrivers and even iron dags will be super super important. Let me see, can we make some of this cool stuff here? Yeah, I wish it would store sort them a little better. I think we can. And no no hearts and no nothing. This is exactly what Project Zomboy needed, a way to make use of all of the resources you find. 
I guess the blue doses will be important for, you know, fire rounds and some other things, maybe. Tactical reload. Fast drawing. Reduce bow time. CSS, I think we have a CSS grapple, grapple hook. Hmm, I guess we should also build a grapple. Yeah, I'm stuck in the screen for a lot of time because I'm reading. As you can see, we cannot access the the better stuff. Our components: small caliber, big caliber, medicine bench. All of those will be super important later on as well. Increase stamina, and that would be fun. Bullet time after rolling, that will also be fun. HP recovery is still one of the more interesting things. I guess you cannot really do much with a blue dose. Arrows can be used. Most of the arrows cannot be used. I guess we can leave it just at this. Okay, let's look at, again at where the metal components might be. It might just be in another language. Thing. I mean, they. It's another language, so they might be. Disguise that something as uh, something else. Huh. Am I missing something or a building? Storage wall. Metal component. Okay, let me search on, on the Steam forums a little bit. Because I thought this would be easy. I just farmed a lot. Okay, nope. Yeah, we're not going to find anything about this game because it's... Well, I guess most of the people are playing in the native language. So let us use all of our brain power together. Together now. Where is the metal component? Iron plate. Smeltable. Because it says it's smeltable. Maybe we just need to have something over the fireplace. And the only thing you can put over the fireplace is a cooking hob. Or we might need to find one of... Okay, we might need to find a location where we can smelt. Okay. I believe it. I'm starting to believe it. To repair this item, I need tendons. Yeah, I think we had some tendons. I might as well throw it away. You, you will need to hunt because food is going to be very scarce. Huh. We did get a little bit out of it. I'm going to need more... Uh, More space. I guess I can put that there. We also have a landmine. Oh, we are starving to death. Why didn't you say so? Let me check my pants. Maybe I have something interesting in them. I think we just have to dump everything over here, otherwise we'll never get to the bottom of the inventory management problem. 
Actually, no. I said I would build more inventory stuff. So let's build more inventory stuff. Storage box. I would build some of these, but as you can see, I need a, a lot of other stuff. You know what? Let's sleep and wake up. And a few hours, so don't worry about it. Okay, so this is the right order to do it. I don't want to use cars just yet because we still have a lot of things we need to pick up. I guess we can also put all of the things we have over here. So we have less weight on us. We are hungry again. We still have a lot of spam, so that shouldn't be a problem. Otherwise, we will need to hunt. And hunting is not as fun as they, the developers would like it. I was trying to hunt something, but I guess I didn't do enough damage. Maybe with the metal balls, we'll do more than enough. Can you not... Oh, okay, you have to be a little more pinpoint accurate. I guess we'll have with the aggressive can where we store most of the aggressive related stuff and utility stuff. And this will just be water bottles, random nonsense like that. A weapon? Oh, that means we just need another crate. Okay, so this will be weapons related stuff. Probably I should fill it up all the way. Oh wow, that's a lot. I think I got a lot of items from all of those things I Head over there, yeah, so probably the best one is at least for now 90 damage with a 9mm round, wait a minute What about the, the other pistol I have? Does it do more damage? Does it use a 9mm round? 90, 105 Oh, okay, 105 That's 84 durability. Yeah, I guess you have to be more careful with our items. So, durability 84, durability 86. I'm still not convinced because even though this is a 90 millimeter, I think it will do a little better, but the noise is 40 on it, and the noise is 35 on this, and rate of fire plus bullet speed, well... Yeah, I, I am afraid that will get me killed, so I still prefer the other, this one. Let's get that used. I have bullets in my inventory plus the magazines.
I guess we'll have to go and throw some co Molotov cocktails at the zombies if they're not behaving. I also have a lot of plant fiber to process, so eh, I guess this will be materials and other stuff. I'll keep the stuff that is not too heavy. And I'll probably move all of the things in here. Well, I guess I should put ammo in a different box entirely, but when is that would be the worst thing ever. I guess I can keep the ammo. Oh no. Now, about modifying the weapons themselves, let's see how we can do that. I don't think we can modify the crossbow. No, we can't. What about the normal bow? Yeah, it, it does a little more damage, 248-320. Repair with weapon parts, repair with weapon parts. I guess you cannot modify it. It would have been cool if I could modify it. Yeah, we'll play this one because I don't think we'll encounter big, mean zombies in this area. At least not for now. Also keep the sticks because they're not too heavy. So we'll just dump the more heavy stuff. Or the heavier stuff. Base, so you don't forget. <laughs> C battery and 9 volt battery and A battery. I think we can keep the batteries though. Anyway, this is my idea of inventory management, so sorry, but I want to show you all of the process that will eventually lead to us, you know, having a lot of fun by harvesting and finding stuff. So this is the nonsense stuff, and the container stuff, and the other stuff as well. The machete is probably nice as well. And I guess we'll have to put the food over here as well. And call this food. And ones will be super useful because you know we have to repair the crossbow. I guess I should put weapons and that over there. And since this is also related to utility and stuff. Probably we don't need so much water. Okay, materials and... No. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. The supplies that are ready to it will go over here. The mask seems to lose very little... Efficiency. I'm not sure how this works. What does the forex do? <laughs> I don't think this modifies anything. What about the laser? Hey, okay, we are special forces now. That will stay with us. I'm still thinking about the batteries and the other stuff, but I think this will be okay. Actually, no, let's put... Oh, we have a lot of NATO rounds. Well, a lot, and by a lot, I mean a little bit. 
Okay, let me think about this. It's, it's going to work, I think, we'll, but we'll need an item repair kit to repair it. So I guess you have to be super, super careful with all melee weapons. No, that's a crafting item. So let's put it over here, look at the bones. So we have matches, but we also have the fire starter kit. You can craft it. So what would be... Oh, I guess the problem is we have, we need C batteries and these are 9 volt batteries. Hmm. Power. 0 0.7 and 16. 0 0.7 and 16. Angle 180. I guess they, they just give you a better angle. Yeah, sometimes there is too much manage in my opinion. So, yeah, we should probably, okay, see battery. Probably we can recharge them later. So we'll take both of the flashlights with us. Oh, glue. Definitely over here. Grindstone, I think we'll keep with us. Arrowheads will keep with us. Guess we can keep that over there. Okay, we are ready to go exploring in the next episode. And in the next episode, all we will do is explore and have fun. I don't want to get the car ready yet because it will be kind of annoying driving a few meters and making a lot of noise. Plus, believe me, you don't want to draw attention. Ice, the things I've seen in this game, you don't want to draw the attention of them. I, think, I keep thinking about the things I saw in the game and you no. Know, don't want to draw the attention. Well, I guess that shouldn't be there. Probably we can cook it, but I'll have to think about that a little later. For now we seem to be doing okay on the food, more or less. The fat is also pretty useful to repair the torch. I guess you just have to make another torch. So let's take the fat with us as well, so we have a chance. Okay, we have also that add-on. Pretty early in the day. So let's go to the supermarket. The supermarket is just straight over here. <laughs> we are so tactical, yeah, I love it. So anyway, that was kind of like the setup part of the game and I, you have to collect a lot of stones and a lot of branches and it's much better to collect the bushes. Let me sh show you, so don't hit the head of that, this zombie. Because it's going to be pointless, I guess I can show you like this. Bye bye, arrow, arrow, uh, wooden arrow, I mean.
We are hungry again. I guess we can eat all the food we have in our inventory. Let's sneak and try to get that gear, even though I... Hunting is not as easy as it seems. Probably if we use the Glock we can kill one of them. Yeah, it's, it's going to get super laggy and it will drop a lot of FPS if... I play like this. But the graphics are quite nice like this. Okay, this is the supermarket. Okay, this zombie doesn't have any armor from what I can see. Okay. Did you see that zombie trying to juke me? Sometimes I have a feeling the zombies are too smart. Okay, his head fell off. I have nine molotovs. Well, that will be useful if we want to, you know, burn a few zombies. Did we lose the other zombie? Probably we did. Sorry about the videos being so, so long, but... No, oh, it didn't. But it's going to be a lot of hard work if I want to go through with all of the content in the game to this point. I definitely will make a base over here, it's going to be too much work to just move all over the place. It's only a stone pickaxe, but I guess we'll take it. It's not really worth checking the garbage cans and the trash cans. Then you find that better, which seems to be worth a lot. Most of the zombies or the corpses have very good loot. I would say never fight during the night, but... For the purpose of the video, we'll do just that. It's actually very good that they're trying to attack me, because that means they'll break stuff outside and I'll have more materials. get confused by the things. Yeah. Sometimes the zombies are super erratical and the line of sight will play tricks on you. Dirty tricks. Did I even hit him? The fighting inside is super buggy. What am I hitting? No. Okay, whatever. That's a definitely a bug. He had almost full armor, so I guess them in the leg.
if it has oversized in the description. No, it's starting like the ST14. <laughs> It has oversized in the description, that means it's good. Oh wow, I have to move all of this. Well, as you can see, it's a little bigger, so a little bigger is exactly what we need. Now, this is your max weight, so keep in mind that it's coating your body and your backpack. I should have left the screwdrivers at home. Eh, well, next time. Also try to see what that metal component is or that metal thing. Equip. Now our max capacity is still 50, so I'm not sure how that works. Might as well get the wood from what the zombies destroyed. Oh, wow. I think we got most of the arrows back, which is great. Also, that's a baseball bat, huh? 100 to rebuild, but damage is 64. Yeah, there are two zombies. I think they attack the trash pile from outside. Keep calm and continue to loot. See what I mean? One shot, one kill. As for these guys, aim for their legs. I hope that's not a hand grenade. What is that? Creature. By the way, as a little tip, I think if you put the backpack on the... Ah, it doesn't work like that. I think if you put an item on the ground after picking it up, it should have, you know, emptied it. If you are hungry, imagine how the zombies are feeling. Don't be rude. I guess this will be one of the longer episodes. Halt. Oh, probably a lot of people will enjoy. Oh, come on! This is amazing. Let me guess some army stuff. Then I'm dead. <laughs> I will keep the last bullet for myself. Huh. But that means we cannot. Yeah, don't don't be fooled by that. I'm not sure how the call to reload. millimeter magazine I guess we could clear the ammo
No, I think that the vehicles might not have been... Very interested in accuracy, so... I guess the cult will work exactly as intended. Dealing a lot of damage. 150 damage, that's insane. Level 1 armor shoe. 5 and 5. No, I'll just dis dismantle it because we want, you know what we want. We want some speed as well, not just defense all the time. No torch formula. Well, I guess that was not useful. And this is the Leatherman. I think we have enough tin cans. Super important. I'm not sure if this is a static drop or a what, but I seem to always find it around here. Seems like I cannot get that arrow, and though the game should allow me to do it. Okay, this is the supermarket over here. And from what I remember, it has only one entrance. Over here in the front. Now, the reason I don't want to auto store my inventory is because my batteries get all mixed up. can put it like here again I'm just using this because I'm recording and I want it to be very atmospheric this doesn't work like that so you have to empty it remove battery put it here Uh, believe me, you need all of the cloth you can get. I think it's 50 now. You know, the only reason I survived so far is just because I'm wearing a helmet. So think about that. The supermarket is going to be super creepy. Not a lot of items, to be honest. Huh, exactly what we wanted. And this is where we get the pot. And I think after we get the pot, I'll install it in my base and I'll play a lot of. I'll probably play. Two or four hours of camera to get everything I need, like get a car up and running, get the base up and running with all features. So, this will give you some food because sugar in it. Iron pickaxe, stone hammer, fire axe. Ooh. A slaughter tool? What is slaughter? I think this will just be a much better melee weapon, even though this one seems like it's a better idea. But it's almost ruined anyway. Also, you can execute enemies. I'm not sure if... Well, I didn't show it off because that wasn't a case before. And you can execute zombies that are weakened or uh, you... Probably the ones that will end up on the ground. So you get a, a prompt to press X to execute, and guess what? You execute a zombie in, in a very brutal style. Which I enjoy a lot. Cooking pot is here. Looks like we don't have a golf, golf club in our pants. And I guess we have to be modest. Okay, fine, but we can put a pot in our... Pants. Yeah, I'll show you the fireplace after that. So I'm not sure if this is a static drop or what, but as you saw, I found both of the items over here. Oh, this is a 
body for a long is dead for a long time. Kevlar suit torso. Forty-five. Oh, I guess it's ruined. Kevlar suit torso. Forty-five, three and twenty. No, not good enough. And it's just another cloth. That looks like body armor. I have to check those when I get home. And this is the loot we leave for the next people arriving here. I guess I can also keep a double barrel shotgun. Also in case you're wondering how does the torch look like, the torch is actually a pretty amazing weapon. Or a pretty amazing tool. Sorry about this. Oh, I guess I can do it like this. The game has so many utility features, it's incredible. The torch is probably the only thing you need to go out during the night, but if you try to run with the torch, it will cover up the light. This is basically this area, and we still have a little bit of stuff to do over here. We're also overweight already. So let's save before. interact with that I guess this is the last building we'll check before we go home and have fun cardboard boxes usually never have anything good in them ah. back to what I wanted also, get all of the iron tubes and the copper tubes you can, because they'll be super important later on, from what I saw. I might be wrong, but... Eh. It's a riot helmet, 60%. I think they should give you metal. Low. That part is not in the game. Ah, I cannot really see his head. Oh. It's an armorless zombie. It's one of the mutating ones. Look at the damage we are dealing. And only now did it fall down. As you can see, the zombies will kind of circle around you if you have a ranged weapon. Oh, that was... <laughs> I fell for that ambush. I believe I was fighting those guys in melee a while back. I'm also slightly overweight, so this might be a problem. That's a running zombie, by the way. I think I'm starting to know what type of zombies we have based on what they do. That's the acid zombie, and this guy can run. You cannot escape him. Once he's in melee range and attacks you. Ah, 
I guess you can play for a little while longer, right? So let's search all of the infected. Like I said, some of them will have really good loot. Like this guy over here. My every instinct tells me to go and loot that one. Come on, you can repair your guns with spare with spare parts from the weapons you loot. That. Yeah, that also works as his armor. Oh, he... Okay. You know what? are not very effective from what I can see. And that's a large fuel container. Well, Can disassemble that. Can probably throw away those. Come on, game. You can fit that in my. Oh. Did you see that it showed the zombie on my character portrait over here? That's insane attention to details. We need to bandage. Let's drink a cola. Yeah, I'll end the video once I finish looting, because these guys should have something really cool. From what I saw, zombies in a general area will have better loot sometimes. I mean, zombies in a general area defending something. Now, well, that's a lot of fire axes now. Oh, to repair a fire axe, you only need a grindstone. Well, then I guess I will not take this one as well. Why am I kidding? I'll take it. must have all of the loot. As you can see, my weapon is getting really low, so after this one... This antique finally comes and... Oh, what? A triple battle. I'll just take the parts, thank you. Oh, wow, this is going to be a very long episode. Okay, but let's... Loot this little building as well.
Well, I guess that's a good ending. And like I keep saying, the, you are never safe. There are so many types of zombies and so many mutant times. You'll get smashed. I was going to throw more of at him, but I was going. I thought he will just uh, attack me, and I'll be fighting a flaming zombie. F uh, okay, super cool game. We'll play more, and ne next time we'll see each other. We'll have a full functioning base, and I'll see what about uh, that metal stuff. Bye bye.